But yeah, this is my introduction to Star Wars, this game. Um, years before I even saw the movies, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up with this game and the first Star Wars Battlefront, and uh, a couple years after that, I guess. Welcome to Outplanet Studios, everybody. Playing a new game today. This one came out in 2002, and I've been playing it Luminar, since then. I grew up with this game. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Our fleet is jamming all transmissions on the planet. It should allow us to land undetected. If you guys have played this before, let me know down in the comments section. It's an amazing Star Wars game. This is how I was introduced to Star Wars, actually. In a world of uh, Star Wars Outlaws, this is definitely a, a good one. Playing on Jedi Master difficulty. I haven't done this in years, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see if we keep it there. Incoming. Only thing I'm worried about is that my I don't think I'll die, but my ally can die pretty fast on this difficulty, so the first cannon is almost destroyed. Stay on target. First cannon down. Master Windu, I've input the coordinates for the second anti orbital cannon. Let's go. So yeah, this is going directly into the Geonosis battle in Episode 2. This game came out pretty much alongside that movie. Mace, there are some supplies nearby. We can use them to recharge our concussion missiles in outer hull. Thank you, Luminara. I have to stay with your guy pretty... or with Luminara pretty much through this whole thing to make sure she doesn't get killed. The lower two difficulties aren't too bad, but the Jedi Master one, I've definitely had some problems with her getting killed. Which is not a pleasant situation. But yeah, you get to drive a TX-130 in this game. I believe it was the first introduction to the vehicle. Of course, then it showed up in Battlefront 1, 2, and the new 2 from 2017. Yeah, it's kind of weird we never saw the Hailfire droid again after Episode 2. Seems like kind of an important ship for the Separatists. All right, let's roll. Uh, so the first ob uh, bonus objective, there's a our set of R5 units that, have to, that you have to find throughout the mission. The first one's up here. This little guy right here. There's three of them. Uh, as we're going through this game, I'm gonna try to get all of the bonus objectives, but possibly with the exception of the time-based ones, because there's a couple of maps that I'd like to explore a little bit. I think it'll be fun though. Uh, we've done this game a couple times on the channel already. But. There we go. Yeah, we've done it on the channel a couple of times, so that I'm bringing it up to modern standards with the, the microphone and the thumbnails and everything, so. It'll be fun. We don't have much time. Take these platforms up to the second cannon. I'll meet you there. Okay. It's finally some alone time where she can't just randomly get killed. Okay. 
All right, so if we take a right right here, there is a Super Blasters bonus. Makes your primary cannon way, way more powerful. But yeah, this is my introduction to Star Wars, this game. Um, years before I even saw the movies, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up with this game in the first Star Wars Battlefront, and uh, a couple years after that, I guess. Then the second Star Wars Battlefront. And I kind of just had those for a long time until Force Unleashed 1 came out. Take out that second cannon. Enemy reinforcements are on the move. The They're probably like, oh, what is going on with our cannons right now? I'm taking heavy fire. Need assistance. Shut up, Luminara. The second orbital cannon is down. Only one more to go. I've input the coordinates for the third cannon. Alright, this is the final area. Well, second to final era area. Just a bunch of random enemies, kill them quick, because uh, Luminara is getting damaged at this point. If you guys didn't know, we do have a Discord server. The link is down in the description. Talking everything Star Wars, Warhammer, Halo. A little bit of everything over there. Well, hang back. Don't get shot anymore. That'd be That'd be really nice of you. Okay, now that we've killed most of the hard ones, we're going to go over here. Hopefully before she kills the other ones, because I would like to be able to get this. And the second R5 unit is right up on these rocks. Right there. Thankfully all the big guys followed me instead of attacking Luminara again. Just kind of left her with those staff speeders over there. That's the last of them. Nice shooting, Master Windu. We can proceed now. Excellent. The last anti-orbital cannon is housed in that outpost. We cannot get through with our tanks. Wait here. I'll find the cannon's power generator and disable it. All right, so the next part is on foot, which would be cool, but the problem is that the uh, the on-foot controls are kind of janky for this game, which is weird because it came out the same year as Jedi Outcast, which had pretty good controls, fairly. So, I don't know. I mean, if you know what you're doing here, I mean, the, the attacks are just so simple. It's just the movement's a little stiff. Got him. Mace, keep your distance from those droids. Their self-destruct mechanism is deadly. Try throwing your lightsaber from a safe distance. I mean, this is primarily a, a vehicle-based game, so kind of makes sense that the, the on-foot controls wouldn't be that great, but... All right, so we're coming up on the third R5 unit. The power you can see it way back in the back corner of this place. Kill them all. Perfect. So yeah, here's the third R5 unit. And then you just blow these up to finish off the level. Die. 
Yeah, the, the gene oceans are kind of brain dead in this. They're not... They're not the most powerful guys. That takes care of the last anti-orbital cannon. The rest of the Jedi should be able to land safely now. Let's get to the landing zone. I sense much desperation in Anakin and Obi-Wan. Alright, well that about does it for the first one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when the next video comes out. Looks like we got all of the bonus objectives done in this one, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.